just got off of work and I'm getting ready to pack. Well, I already have my bags packed, but I have to pack them into the vehicle and then um, have the person that's going with me pack their bags and put them in the vehicle. I'm gonna grab something for lunch because usually I eat at 12.30, but I had to leave at 12.30. So I'm going to try to find like some fruit or some nuts or something. Take some turkey with me um, or something quick because I'm not really wanting to eat McDonald's because I feel like my dad, he's, he's the one going with me. I feel like he wants McDonald's or something that's like quick and easy. Um, I don't need that because my face is already breaking out. So I am looking forward to some fruit or some kind of turkey or, or something. I didn't get time to get a lunch, but I've got some turkey and cheese. I'm good to go, I think. not really sure where we are um we kind of got lost because that's what we get for talking um i know this is a highway right here that's supposed to go to aurora or something like that which is going to take us into denver um yeah had to pee because i've been holding that in since work and that was like six hours ago plus i've had um a scooters drink and I've had water because we ate at Applebee's and that was pretty good. That wasn't too bad. My dad's chicken was like really chewy, really crunchy. I don't think there was much chicken there. I think they were cooking it way too long, so he was like snacking on this trail mix we had somewhere. We might have ate all of it, but everything's going great. We're just kind of chatting about life and Hopefully we end up to our destination here pretty soon. It is 7.51, so I think we're supposed to arrive at like 9.30, I believe. Yeah. Okay guys, we made it an hour later. Um, I'm absolutely tired. I wanna wash my face. I wanna hop in the hot shower and go to bed but my dad is very hungry because his meal did not give him enough energy at all. So we either might be hitting up like a barbecue place or maybe Italian. I feel like that's too heavy at night, but I don't know. He's really hungry, so I'm all for it. Um, we arrived at the Marriott. Here's the hotel here. My dad's checking in right now. Um, yeah. We were on the interstate, which, oh my gosh, that's hella busy. Like you look over to your left, look over to your right, semis are by you on both sides and it's hard to like merge into another lane. So we took like a back way, if that makes sense. But we're in Denver right now. Um, getting ready to check in. And then my dad will give me like the go to take my bags up to the room and then relax a little bit and then go eat. Well, good morning, everyone. Um, my night at the hotel was tiring, <laughs> to say the least. Um, we got here like at 10 o'clock, and then, oh my gosh, my phone's sliding. I'm sorry, guys. Um, we decided to eat, and I thought I was getting like a hot ham and cheese sandwich, but it said open on it, so I guess I didn't really understand what that meant. <laughs> And my food came, it was literally bread, 
on a pile of turkey and then covered, I mean like severely covered on this giant plate of gravy. And then I was like, am I supposed to get cranberry sauce with like this? And she's like, yeah, and then like cranberry jelly. And it was like the most disgusting thing. My grandma calls it shell and shingle. I think it was the worst because this gravy was obviously from the tea and then we really dumped it on that whole microwave. Yeah, I did not feel very good. And my dad got fish and chips and french fries and his french fries were like ice cold. And then he felt bad for me so he was like, here, eat this fish. It's late at night. You know, I don't need this food. And I was like, oh, he's trying to be really nice and feed me some food. But I know he was hungry because his lunch didn't last him at all. So, yeah, I ate some fish too and it's just sitting here. And then yesterday I had like a large coffee, which I've told you guys I can't have coffee. Because it messes with my like lymphatic system and makes my anxiety really bad. So I shouldn't have took that at all. Uh, I mean, not took that, but like drank that. But, um... It's currently 5.18. I'm planning on getting down there at 6. So I'm gonna brush my teeth, I'm gonna comb my hair. I'm gonna do something about my face. <laughs> um, and then meet my dad down there for breakfast. Um, I get my passport today. I also have my business meeting, so that's exciting. Um, I think. Yeah, like the off for the not the office. The place where I get my passport opens at eight. Well our appointment's at eight, so we've gotta be there around like seven thirty. Um, we're kinda close to there right now, but we've gotta go through like a bunch of scanners. They have to like pat us down to see if we have any like metal or anything sharp where we can like kill somebody. It's like really intense. So we have to go through that. And I have to put my bag in a deal, just basically like TSA at um, an airport. So I need to get together, put myself together, and get ready for this day. It is not good. I feel like it's very watered down oatmeal. The dark chocolate's probably the best thing. There's a quiche over here, but it's like really cold. It smells like it was just microwaved. There goes my fork. <laughs>
black buildings. I'm gonna look for like a mini sized lotion or something because I know that I'm gonna be really flaky when I go to the beach from exposure to sun so I might get like this little one it's like three dollars that's crazy you're better off just buying a bottle and like pumping it into your own little tube and then I love this cleanser but that's not gonna be enough for two weeks I love all these products because they're like natural but do they have like a mini that I could take no they don't have a mini in this cleanser or the brightening facial cleanser. I also really like this because it doesn't have a lot of fragrance to it. Coconut oil can be good for your skin, but it also can be way too like moisturizing and can break you out if you're like sensitive, but this is pretty good. On the Uka app, it, it rates like an 85, I think. They have like some bikini cover-ups. They have a top and then they also have um, some shorts. These are cute, but I feel like I would be nipping if I wore this or this. It's because it's like thin material, but it's only $10. I think I could also get this one because it's 15 inches, so I could probably fit a lot in here, but then again, this looks more wider so I could fit clothes, my laptop, all my technology shit in there. Okay, I'm currently looking at shoes. I don't need any shoes, but these actually might work. That can go on the beach. They're kind of thick. Maybe I should get sandals, but I feel like I could walk around in these and they're light. Okay, now I'm thinking about getting this, but that's kind of expensive. I don't really know how big. Oh my gosh, that feels like nothing's in there. But that would be nice for like the beach so I don't have to wear foundation and have a little bit of coverage on my face. Hi guys, so we have made it to Lamar, Colorado. Um, I just got a peach smoothie. I look crazy, I've been driving. Um, I'm really, really tired. Today's been a long day, but I just got my passport. Um, we ate at Texas Roadhouse, so that was really good. I'll put in a picture right here. And uh, we have a five hour drive home. Like I literally drove two hours, two hours. And now I have five hours to drive. But it's okay because I don't want my dad to drive all of that. So I told him I'd take turns. Plus he got me this, so that was really sweet of him. Well, I made it in one piece. I don't know how. But I'm about to get a snack and then head on the road. And hopefully we'll be home in two hours. Please. I'm, I'm so tired. My makeup is coming off my face. That's how you know. We are at Popeyes. I thought we were gonna go through McDonald's, but um, I guess this works.